I want to talk about this emotion of hate. And one of the most famous examples of hate is you have a race of people or a group of people who have decided for their benefit, for their comfort, that they subdue and force another people to do manual labor. And in doing that manual labor, they become wealthy and powerful across the globe. Hundreds and hundreds of years of free labor. Not only did they get free labor, but they mistreated their victims, rape, discrimination, murder, incarceration, and the list goes on and on for hundreds of years. And then they have the audacity to talk about, I hate black people. <laughs> what did the black people do to you? And when we look at the situation, the only one who benefit from this relationship is the ones who enslaved the black people, lynched the black people, and got rich and wealthy and still benefit from the black people to this day. So we have the same example on a smaller scale today. We have these uh, women who say that Angel Snup Nup 7 did this and Angel Snup Nup 7 do that. They do not mention what they have done. But the only beneficiary seems to be them. They do not say how Angel Snup Nup 7 benefit. It seems as though they are the only beneficiaries out of this ar arrangement. And they hate. And they hate. So they have the same mindset as the racists of this earth who have brought hell and destruction upon others and benefit, but they hate the victim. Maybe that's because the victim survived slavery. Maybe that's because the victim complains and let the world know what they done. And they keep telling you that's the past. That's the same thing you hear from these women. Let it go. That's the past. It's the same mindset. Wow. Goodness gracious. Lord Almighty. Mm -mm. If we was in church, there would be a whole lot of amens. Oh, Lord. My God. My God. This emotion of hate is so strong. And we're not only talking about this lady, but we're talking about so many involved, which includes uh, persons like Guy Nollywood Jr. and Al Kwan or uh, Gary Wilson. 
and so many unknown persons. They pride themselves, all of these people pride themselves on their ability to think and research and be logical and reason, research, I research, I can think. They pride themselves in their intelligence. But when you become emotional and hate is a very, very strong emotion. When we hate, it clouds and it causes us not to think clear. We hate. I don't care what is said. I don't care what is presented. It's the same thing. I know that Caucasian people, I know white people have done, uh, so brothers and sisters, great evil. But at the same time, there are things that don't make sense. Well, the, the white man do this and, and, and he. But there's no evidence. There's no proof. We are supposed to take what is being presented to us on face value simply because it's the white people. And I hate the white people or I hate the black people. So I'm going to accept whatever is being said on face value because I hate. So here we have this woman who comes from out of nowhere. Because another person is filled with hatred. I need somebody to support me. I need somebody to help me deal with this situation. So this woman comes from out of nowhere. And if your mission, or if you truly feel as though you are in the right, it is good that you find somebody that will help you in your fight. However, the problem here is, is this person really credible? Is this person really valid? But we hate. And we're upset and we are in our emotions. So no matter, as long as this person can testify and bring something that is against, that you believe can foul the one you hate, it's all right and popping. The problem here is, what if you have to prove what you say? What if you have to prove what you say? For an example, the Black Power Movement the black conscious movement said the white man, the white man. And so I asked the question, when you said the white man, you're saying all white people. Now, to my knowledge, there are over 70, 70, 70 different types of white people. Also, I would like to bring to your attention that there was one time all of them was not even classified white. Oh, woo! Can I get an amen? Come on, y'all. Let's bring this. Let's let's we're gonna teach. Let's teach today. You have two problems. There are 70 different types of white people. Your problem number two is that at one time, all of them was not even classified white. So when you said that the white man, you show how the white man or these other or all the white people participated or they are guilty of your claims. And when I asked this question, 
Oh, you just, you are Uncle Tom. You are Sambo. That's the response you get. Uh, that's nice. I'm Uncle Tom. And I'm a Sambo. That's, that's fine and dandy. Where's your proof? Where's your evidence? So, nobody is asking this woman, Angel Snup Nup 7, is chemically castrated. Where is your evidence? Angel Snup Nup 7 is an escaped mental patient. Where is your evidence? Angel Snup Nup 7 needs psychiatric drugs. Where is your evidence? Angel Snup Nup 7 molested his uh, nieces or whatever, and there's a, a charge against him. And the only thing they have is a bogus police complaint that this person filed years ago. How can Angel Snup Nup 7, if there was warrants for Angel Snup Nup 7, how could he drive a truck when trucking companies, check your background, trucking companies, if you have a warrant for your arrest or whatever, they would turn you in to the police. We're not thinking at all. We're not thinking at all. We're taking things on face value because we hate, because we are emotional. Now, mind you, I did read a post from um, this lady. And she said, when you put certain information or when you slander or whatever, there's consequences. So she was making reference to me. I, I'm a slanderer and I gossip. No, when I say what I say, I have a right to my opinion about my personal experience. But I do not put out slander. I do not put out libel. But you have decided to put your faith in somebody and they offer no proof, no evidence, except a, a bogus complete, uh, police complaint that they filed showing no text messages, no emails, no evidence in support of the complaint. They show no Medical records, they show and offer us nothing. We are into our emotions. So when we lie, or rather, when we believe in lies and falsehood, there's a consequence. Whether it is the black conscious community or individuals, there's a consequence. Because when you are exposed, the people will respond and you will be exposed as a liar and a deceiver. This is the problem that many Caucasian people have. Instead of just accepting what has happened and trying to heal we want to make up stories and make up excuses and run. You're supposed to be so intelligent. You do your research and get the information. Did you verify what this woman is saying? No. So. She makes all of you look stupid. And you deserve to look stupid because. You're supposed to do your research and get the information and do your due diligence, but because of unjustified hatred. Mm, mm, mm.